Welcome to the 1996 National Hockey League Entry Draft. We are thrilled to be here in St. Louis at the Kiel Center. I would like to welcome all of the fans who are here with us in the arena today, and to all the fans watching on TSN RDS across Canada and on ESPN2 in the United States. I want to say a special thank you to Jerry Ritter, Jack Quinn, Mike Keenan, the Kiel Center Partners, and the entire St. Louis Blues organization. Your dedication and hard work have made this 1996 NHL entry draft a great success. I also want to say a special thank you to the city of St. Louis for being such a great host city for this event. The first pick of the draft will be made in just a few moments, and that will begin one of our most exciting days of the NHL year. This is the time that hockey dreams of our future stars begin to be realized. And I would also like to take a moment to salute the families of today's draft picks. The success of these athletes is a direct result of the sacrifices and commitments their families have made. Today is the day your e efforts are recognized as well. Before we get underway, I would like to give the team some final instructions. All first round draft selections will be made from the podium. When your team is called, the team representative should bring the selection to the central registry table on the way to the stage. You may also hand your selection to the NHL runner posted at your table. Once your choice is confirmed, you should then proceed to the stage to announce the selection. The selected player will then come to the stage to meet you after he has hugged his parents. Selections in the second round and beyond are to be made from the microphone at each team's table. Good luck, and let's get started. The first selection in the 1996 National Hockey League entry draft belongs to the Ottawa Senators. So Pierre Gauthier making his way up, and Bob McKenzie, the betting from you is that it will be Phillips. I think that's the most logical choice. They need basically everything, offense, better defense, and more depth in the organization as well. What they need, though, is a solid player. They need some character. They need a big physical presence, and Phillips gives them all Bonjour of that. <laughs> the Ottawa Senators select from the Canadian Hockey League Prince Albert Raiders, Chris Phillips. And Bob talked about character. This young man has loads of it. He played with Canada's national junior team, was the number seven ranked defenseman in the team. That's a tough position to fill. He filled it admirably. For a star player, you don't see as much ice time, but he weathered that storm as well as showing great character in his personal life. And what he's best known for, ironically, is his family life. He just gave his hug, hug to his mom, Carol, and his father, Garth, his sister, Jennifer. A unique family situation. His mother's in a wheelchair as a result of a virus that attacked his spinal cord. His, his father, not too long after that, suffered blindness, legally blind from a diabetic uh, condition, and he's been a faced with a lot of adversity, very young in his life, and he's handled that extremely well. But lost amongst all the talk of his character and how he stayed home an extra year in Fort McMurray, Alberta, to help his parents out and not go to Major Junior for a year is the fact that this guy is an outstanding hockey player. This guy is the full package on defense. Maybe you'd like to see him a little bit tougher, maybe play a little more physical, but I tell you, he's the full package. Big, physical, move the puck, smart, aggressive, composed. They call him ice. That's his nickname on the Prince Albert Raiders, and that's because he's so poised and so cool. And this is his moment. Tell you what, sitting here with the Phillips family, uh, tremendous tension for Chris, but also for his mom and dad and his sister. Uh, Carol Phillips, I think you were more nervous than Chris was. Uh, what was your feeling when it was finally announced? I can hardly even talk. <laughs> um. Oh, it's just so exciting. I just can't believe it. Chris oh, man. Phillips. I'm so happy for Chris. 
Jennifer, I know that you, you've all waited so long for this. How tough were the last couple of days waiting and waiting and waiting, going through all the interviews and the meetings and the news conferences? Um, it was really tough. Um, I'm finally glad it's over. <laughs> Garth, we talked about the fact that your son stayed home when he was 16 and, and waited a year to go to junior, and, and obviously that's a move that uh, helped him. I mean, he got a chance to be with you when you needed him and uh, a chance to still be the first overall pick. Uh, it says a lot about the character of your son. Is that uh, what uh, you're most proud of? Well, the main thing is uh, for kids to be good kids, and uh, when you got a, a daughter like I got and a son like I got, the hockey is just icing on the cake. Uh, what a great moment. Everybody, breathe. <laughs> Let's go to Gary Green with Chris. Chris, what's going on in your mind right now? A lot of pressure off? Oh, yes. Uh, you know, a big relief uh, you know, to get the draft over with. I finally, uh, finally have a team that I'm going to, and... Uh, you know, this is just a just a dream come true, and it's you know, I, it's just an incredible feeling. Tell me about your feelings right now towards your parents. I know they have been a, a very large part in your career and getting here today. Well, it's uh, you know a great day for the whole family. Uh, you know, they made a lot of sacrifices throughout my whole career, and uh, you know, uh, you know the whole family can be proud today. That's for sure. Congratulations and good luck in Ottawa. Thanks a lot. Well, Chris Phillips goes to the Ottawa Senators. The Edmonton Oilers, which would be the nearest National Hockey League city to Fort McMurray, Alberta, made a concerted bid to get the to get the Albertan into their lineup, but they couldn't work out a deal. Pierre Gauthier likes to hold on, built through the draft. That's what he did with he was with Quebec Nordiques, the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Now he's doing with the Ottawa Senators, starting to take form on that Ottawa blue line. Wade Redden, big Western defenseman, Chris Phillips, Stan Netchkash, starting to get some foundation to build upon in Ottawa. And the next focus of our attention, the San Jose Sharks. And speaking of